Hello YouTube! This is Tim the Enchanter and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. Uh, a brand new YouTube channel in 2017, you say? That's a terrible idea. Well, personally, I've always felt like peak market saturation is the best time to start something new, uh, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be kicking things off with my favorite game series of all time, uh, and that is Civilization. Um, so, uh, just just so you know, I've got uh, foolishly with with my own money, I bought all of those extra little DLCs and things like that, uh, just because I'm a completionist. Are they overpriced? Yeah, probably. But you know what? You only live once. All right. So we are starting off. I've always enjoyed the fractal map type. Um, we're gonna keep things simple. Uh, start off to start off with. Let's see. Um, I am going to start with the Prince of the Peloponnese. Uh, the, I should think of other P things. If, I, if I'd really thought this intro through, I'd have more alliteration for you. Uh, anyway, Pericles, he of the fabulous funeral oration. Um, I really like uh, Plato's Republic. Um, I think of it more as Aristotle's Republic. Uh, I'm more of an Aristotelian than a Platonist, but we'll, I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to get into that. Uh, anyway, uh, it's really nice to have that extra wild card slot for more flexibility uh, with your different um, civic choices and things like that. Uh, also, he gets uh, extra culture for every city-state that he is Suzer enough. So, we may actually kind of game the system a little bit and load up on some extra city-states. In fact, I think we're going to do that, so we'll, we'll tweak that in, in a minute. Uh, obviously, they have the Hoplite, which gives them extra combat strength if they're next to another Hoplite. Um, the old Greek Hoplite was a bunch of dudes getting in a, in a big, big giant block and, and just, just pushing people forward. Uh, so it's basically like Ohio State's running game in the 1970s. Uh, and the Acropolis, a district unique to Greece for cultural sites, replaces the theater square, awards an extra envoy when completed. Um, which again, helps us with city states. So what we're gonna do here, um, we're going to go to advanced setup. We are going to dial up the city states to, how many will it let us do here on a regular map? 18. So we're going to max out the city-states just to take advantage uh, of what Pericles can do. It'll make things a little bit more congested. Might not be quite as much room for us to expand. Uh, we'll see how much we get hosed by our start, but we will play it through and see what happens. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I'm going to go ahead and kick this thing off here. Uh, going with standard speed, standard map size. Um, I'm playing on Prince. Uh, it's it's generally a little bit harder to play and talk at the same time, uh, so a little bit less for me to worry about. Also, look, um, deity is can still be fun and challenging at the same time, uh, but you know part of the thing that is fun about this game is just just to build stuff. Uh, and when you play a deity, uh, it just creates a different set of priorities. You don't really get to build all those fun wonders. Uh, you kind of have to let the AI build them and then kill the AI and take them. Um, so it's just it's just a different game. Um, I have enough stress in my life without having to worry about uh, killer AI with lots of extra bonuses. So we're just going to kind of chill and play this at, at not necessarily a crazy high difficulty. Um, that lets us just, you know, relax and have fun, because let's face it, that's what this is all about. Uh, I know I'm talking over the dulcet tones of Sean Bean, um, but you can read what he said right there. Uh, anyway, yeah, so Civilization, my favorite game series of all time. Uh, back in 1993, I won't tell you how old it was. Okay, I was a sophomore in high school. Someone had somehow loaded the original Civilization um, on our library computers at the school. Uh, and I started playing it, and life has never been the same since. All right, so let's see what we start out with. We've got a little bit of a rocky start here. Get it? Hot <laughs> rocky start, but no stone. Uh, so we got a couple luxury resources. Um, so we're going to have to get to sailing quick and also irrigation. We do at least have a little wheat. Um, but yeah, not not the best of starts. We could certainly do better. Um, I am going to go ahead and settle in place. I don't really see any reason not to. I should at least... Let's see what's out here. Alright, so we've got some a little bit of food there. So it actually wants me to settle on the wheat. That doesn't seem like a good idea. I could move up to here. 
uh, and settle on the coast. That would actually give me gives me the boost to sailing, doesn't it? Yeah, so I would get the instant boost towards... Ah, uh, but it would use up a turn. Again, playing at this level, it really is not going to make that big of a deal. Um, we're going to go animal husbandry here so we can hook up um, the ivory and the sheep. That's definitely going to be the way to go there. Oh, I have to open my technology tree. That seems it doesn't seem like I should need to do that. All right, so we're going to go with with that to start off with. Uh, I am using the uh, what is it, the community user interface mod. Uh, it is kind of handy um, as far as giving you extra feedback and things like that. Um, okay. Uh, anyway, we're going to just throw caution to the wind and settle here. Um, yeah, because I don't want to lose that extra turn. All right, so Athens has been founded. Um, so there we go. So we will start with a scout. Everyone's favorite to kill a mockingbird character. Uh... Well, that's kind of wonky. Is that... Hmm. Hopefully this isn't messed up by one of the mods. We'll find out. That is a bug with the community interface mod. But hopefully it's not going to mess things up. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and explore... Let's go this way. Do have quick movement turned on now. Uh, it does help speed the game up a little bit. So Barb's right off the bat here. We're going to have to hurry up and go kill him. Ooh, nice. Again, Barb's not a huge problem to deal with, but it's just always better if I can... Um, get a little bit more building done before I have to deal with them. Alright, so he has moved where we can actually kind of box him in here. Which will be handy. Uh, at this point, he'll have to go over there. Uh, and I should be able to chase him down. So it will be nice if I don't get inundated with barbs right off the bat. Even at Prince, um, still kind of in a way. So we will go there, and there, and that should take him out. All right, see ya, Scout. Speaking of Scouts, my Scout will be finished on the next turn, and we will be able to see what is up. Uh, so we will start expanding to, or exploring to the north, I should say. Um, I guess with a mountain there, it does give me a decent potential campus site, so that's better than nothing. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started on our monument. A monument to the greatness of Pericles. I'm going to go ahead and heal up, and then I'll get back to exploring. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some extra visibility from this hill, poke out this way. And my warrior is still healing. Anyway, yeah, so back in 1993, played the original Civilization game. Uh, it was like someone had turned history into a game, which at the time was just amazing. Um, I think I started playing it on a, a four-color monitor. Uh, if you can believe that such a thing once existed, ask your grandparents about it. Hey, Brussels! All right, so we are we have our first encounter with the city-state. That is great. They want us to construct a campus, um, so we may need to go for writing a little bit early to do that. Uh, but we'll kind of see what happens. All right, so Brussels. They are they are ooh mil wait which what kind are they? They're industrial. All right, so right off the bat we get plus two production in our capital when producing wonders buildings and districts. That's really handy to get right off the bat. 
um, they're going to like us more when we have industrial zones. Or they'll help us more when we have industrial zones. All right. So we've discovered the Belgians. Uh, best of all, uh, this gives us access to Stella Artois, which as far as I'm concerned should be a luxury resource in civilization. Uh, although apparently Belgians think it's complete swill. Uh, I will concede it's entirely possible that Belgians have better taste in beer than the rest of us. Oh, Auckland! Oh, why am I doing Auckland with a non-Australian? Good day, mates. It's, it's the Auckland's from down under. All right, so we get an envoy there, too. They are really close together. All right, so that is... Oh, so this is the new... Well, they're also industrial, but they have a different... Oh, so that's the symbol for Auckland. Okay. As you can see, I'm still really unfamiliar with a lot of the, the details in this game. So, a couple city-states right off the bat. Good job by me for pumping those up, stacking the deck in our favor. Um, but but again, what's, what's, what's the point of, of really handicapping yourself uh, when you could exploit the game? Uh, we have expanded. I don't know that I need to worry about which... So what are we working right now? Oh, we're only one side, so I think we're working that right now. So we're getting a lot of production, but not a lot of growth, which is fine. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and queue up a... Ooh, that's weird. Why did I do that? All right, so I'm going to queue up my builder, um, because that, I think, will be the next thing that we will build so we can start uh, farming the wheat and also get a luxury resource. Okay, so on to our next turn. The nice thing is uh, a no couple close city-states. And when I die, I want to go where they went. Get where the dogs are. Uh, all dogs are... It wasn't that... There was a, like a Disney cartoon or something, right? All dogs go to heaven. It wasn't Disney, though. It was something else. Uh... I'm sure you all can fill that in in, in the comments section. Uh, let's see. I want to keep exploring this way. I haven't found any goody huts. Oh, haha! <laughs> Speaking of goody huts, right on cue, a goody hut! Yay! All right. Um, so we got our animal husbandry. I think next we. I don't really have any stone. Um, we'll go with pottery next, just because I don't have anything better to do right now. Um, and it, again, it doesn't have a boost, so we'll fill in the text that don't get boosted, uh, and then start going from there. So what does Auckland want? So they want to trigger a Eureka for masonry. All right. Oh, we discovered another continent, and... Ah, so that gets us a boost. All right, so we're going to have a, I think, another sieve down there. We'll find out here in just a moment. Keep exploring this way. Uh, all right, so we're going to have another good city site, probably. This could actually be our coastal city if I wanted to postpone sailing. Probably if I drop one right there, that will use that wheat and the crabs there. So I will seriously consider that. In fact, let's let's put a pin in that. Uh, so where were we thinking right? Of course I could do it here. Let's see. So Athens expands. Yeah, so let's think about right here. So we will think about that as a potential city site. Uh, in the meantime, we'll, we'll keep moving along here. Ah, so we have our first barb camp. Uh, they should be pretty easy to kill. Although I don't have... Oh, I need Code of Laws. So I can probably wait until I get Code of Laws because then I'm going to get that boost against barbs. Um, but I... Do I want to go grab that first? That'll take me... It'll be the next turn. Oh, and then by... Yeah, so I can get there and back. 
in time for me to have my cut of laws and then I can actually get get some goodies to make it easier to kill the barbs. So we finally have stone way over here. That would be... Yeah, I should be able to get to there. All right. Oh, I have... Con okay, this is great. So a uh, third city-state. Um, I want candy. So they would like us to trigger an inspiration for irrigation. And then they will like us. So we've got irrigation, masonry. Those are actually some pretty simple things uh, relative to you know having to build a canvas. So that is actually great news. Oh, is that? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, good. That's still the same turn. I was worried I had forgotten about this. So we're going to grab some gold. Our scout is going to keep exploring. Uh, I should probably circle around and come up this way. I want to see what's up above me there. So he's going to go back there. All right, so next turn we're going to finish Code of Laws, and that will let us get some civic choices, which will be nice. At his best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. Um, let's go ahead and do foreign trade since we have the boost for that one. All right. So so let's see. Uh, we definitely want this one. Uh, we will take that. And yeah, definitely, I think we're going to take all the extra production. That's going to be a lot more valuable than getting extra re ex extra experience for our recon units. All right, so the agenda is set. And we're on our way. Oh, I was going to circle back around this way, wasn't I? OK. Uh, so. We've, with that extra bonus, we are going to be able to kill this Barb City, um, which will let us... I think that triggers another uh, inspiration also. I don't remember which one, but we will find out here momentarily. Ooh! All right, so we are neighbors with the Congo. And I th if I remember right, um, Congo, or Mvemba Nzinga. Uh, again, generally, I like to be friends with everyone unless they give me a reason not to. Um, I think they don't make their own religions, but they do really well when other people send them religions, if I remember correctly. We could look at that up in the Civilopedia but I don't really want to. Again, I am not about optimal gameplay uh, in, in maximizing exploiting opponents. Well, sometimes. All right, so we'll go into our next turn. Uh, again, it could be that an... Er oh, well, that is rude. Um, do I want to kill this slinger? I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to move up here and then hit the slinger because I don't want to get double tapped. Uh, and then once I get low on health, I can grab my promotion. We are all right. So we're going to get a builder on the next turn and that'll help us with our food situation. Again, this is really not a lot of food here. Obviously it has a chance to be a production monster. Uh, with all these hills, but it does make it a little hard to grow uh, without quite as much food. Looks like we can probably set up a farming triangle over here, maybe, but that's going to be a, a ways down the road. Uh, where is my scout? My scout is over here. Yeah, so we're going to keep... Oh, another city-state! Um, train an archer, okay. Uh, so it looks like we are not the first people to meet them, so we don't get the free boost with them. Uh, but again, a lot of the city-states right off the bat. Very good news for the Greeks. At least the Greeks with Pericles, not necessarily the Greeks with... Is it Gorgo, I think, the other one? 
come back on your shield or no, come back with your shield or on it. Botch that line. Alright, so we are going to get our farm going here, we'll get an irrigation bonus. And yeah, okay, so that makes them happy. Great. Let's see, and Candy is, which one are they? They are religious. Ah, so now we get extra faith in our capital. Uh, we don't have any holy sites, but once we do, then we'll get more goodies from them too. All right, so we're starting to produce a little bit more faith here. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and take my promotion now. And I'll take the combined. So hopefully they will kill themselves on me. All right, so what do we want to build next? I think we will build with a slinger. I can get the bonus. Yeah, we're going to get a slinger out real quick so I can get the bonus for killing something with that. Uh, and then we will move along to our, uh, I guess, our next settler. Or our first settler, I should say. Excuse me, I was momentarily distracted. I dropped my coffee mug on the floor. Never a good idea. All right. So who is... All right, so that's the Congo down there. No yeah, so they are beating themselves the against us. As so... So we've taken them out and should still be strong enough to finish off the other guy. Yeah, this is very mountainous, so definitely the the boost where you can move better on hills would be very handy in this case. Um, let's see. The irrigation would let us use that. Do you get the boast from training an archer? Um, so what I want to go with the early campuses. What are my... So here I've got make a campus, train an archer, you are good for masonry. Which I think I have to... There's masonry, masonry, build a quarry. I don't have any stone, so that's going to be hard to do. So we probably won't worry too much about that particular one. Um, so what do I want to do next? And, uh, let's just go ahead and get mining out of the way. Um, don't really have any marshes to worry about. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and just, just get the mining done. aspect of trade I suppose the world gets stirred up together okay so we can start building oh all right great so we got another city-state there we get some more science in our capital what do they want us to do trigger an inspiration for early empire okay that I think we can do very civil oh well, that's gonna be kind of hard um Oh, mysticism. Found a pantheon. What did I do to found a pantheon? I don't even remember. I should probably know that if I'm going to be any good at this game. Um, craftsmanship. That would be really handy to get out more builders. Probably better than the just the one production bonus that I have right now. Um, let's go ahead and go with we can at least get halfway through this and then we'll do half of something else um, again that, that early empire is going to be a little bit slow to come with, with this little food 
Alright, so yeah, we knew that, we knew that. And well, I don't have well I guess I do have some neighbors I can build trade routes with. Alright. Um yeah, we'll go ahead and take a take a whack at them. Hmm. That is a really good site there. I almost wonder if I need to move it over. But actually, you know what? I could have it a third city down here further to use that. Um, I really need to know what's up here as far as deciding which direction to expand in. But our scout's working his way over there now. I probably should have sent them a delegation myself. All right. So again, we're going to be friends with him. I guess I can go ahead and send my slinger up this way. That isn't the worst idea. All right, so we've got an extra resource there. Ah, another barb scout. And what was I doing here? Um... I guess we will go ahead and build a settler. I'm not quite sure where to send a settler yet. That will be a nice spot. I don't know that Brussels lets me... How close can I settle to them? Yeah, I can't settle near them. The closest I can settle is down here. And there's a barb... Oh, there's a barb camp that just popped up down there. Okay. But that's probably where we will look at. Uh, we'll see if we can take them out. All right. So we have cleared that barb encampment. And we go. Oh, military tradition. All right. So we have we have we've started a tradition of of attacking um, other people and killing them just for the heck of it. So that's that's the original preemptive strike right there. Uh, long before we we just started dropping bombs on people, we we clear barb encampments. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this sheep hooked up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and heal him here for a minute. And getting close to the point where we will put a, a, a cut in here. Is that Palanque? Palanque? I have no idea. Alright, so we're going to make a Pantheon. Okay. Um, hmm, this is going to be a little bit of a difficult choice. I do have, I think right now I've got really more luxury resources than anything. I've got one luxury resource. That's a luxury resource. So what are my options here? Don't really have any desert tiles. That's out. Ancient wonders. I could try to wonder spam. Um, nope, don't really have, I don't have a holy site next to a river yet. Now this would be kind of handy, um, just because we do want to get out, um, some theater squares. So if we're looking long term, I do have some fishing boats. So that wouldn't be the worst idea. Um, with the elephants, so which other, so I have a camp there camp there. That's two extra food. I don't know. The fishing boats, one, two, three, four, five. Man, fishing boats might be my best bet here. I've not done that one before. What do I get from the fishing boats? I get extra production. Don't really have any quarries from mines over... So I wouldn't really have a mine. I have a camp on a luxury resource, but not a mine. This would be straight, pretty straightforward if I want to just rush um, the Congo. I don't know that I do. Hmm. 
Hmm. That would actually be kind of interesting early on. Choices, choices, choices. This will be an extra. Ultimately, that's going to be a boost of five at least. Um, which is stronger than a percentage bonus. That's a boost to everything. You know what? Why not? Let's... Um, Let's go with fishing boats. All right, so we get the mysticism bonus there. That'll be nice. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a different approach than I normally take. Uh, but I think based on what is around me, that's going to be the right way to go. So I'm definitely want, I will definitely want to... Um, so there's scientific. Oh, that's right. It's based on the color. So at one, two, three, four, five, six. Early city states. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a cut in right here. Uh, again, so thank you very much for joining me on uh, my maiden voyage here. So thanks again. Definitely give the video a like. Uh, even if, you know what, even if you didn't like it, be charitable. Click like anyway. It doesn't doesn't hurt you at all. Helps me. Um, and spreads the joy of civilization to lots of, of kids all over the place. So do it for the kids. Thanks for watching and have a great day. We'll see you next time.